Welcome back to the channel, folks. My name is Joel Duggan, and we have kicked off the week with a hype train. Thanks ever so much to everybody in chat ahead of stream. We've got uh, Cosmic Dancer gifted a gift sub to Grandpa Crafter. That was a 14-month shout-out that Grandpa Crafter put in the chat. Mind Trip Media used 100 bits, and Blast Jordan used 100 bits to kick off a hype train. Uh, we are three minutes in to the hype train. It's a level one right now. Uh, thank you ever so much. What a great way to start a Tuesday. Uh, we're back in Satisfactory again today, and we are going to pick up where we left off, working on the Ironhide factory, which is just the smelter, really. But we need to move all of our steel production. We need to move all of the stuff around it to the new location, where we're going to be permanently putting together the factory that's going to supply us with the things that we need to build the rest of our infrastructure in the area. And I think I'm going to use Wheeljack as the inspiration for the main factory. Wheeljack was always the um, the mechanic Autobot back in the G G1 cartoon. And he's got some cool designs in recent years. So I thought I would check that out. Some cool colors too, some white and some green in there as well. Uh, so that was uh, definitely something I considered when I was picking out a new transformer. And um, we're actually not gonna be doing a lot of iron. We're doing mostly steel for our early game factory which is really cool because i've never done this much steel early on before it's usually focused on iron and rods and screws and we don't need screws for very much we can just kind of make screws on their own uh to uh store and and use for building but we don't really need them for production which is really neat because of the uh, alternate recipes that we have so uh the first thing we're going to do is probably temporarily move some stuff um we're going to look at our spreadsheet and see what we need to do I don't know if I want to do 10 motors a minute. It ends up being quite a lot of work. So I might reduce the amount that we do, um, but we'll see. Oh, the camera's frozen again? I don't understand. Uh, thanks, Blast Jordan, appreciate it. Uh, how, that, it's weird that it just started. Like I just, normally it's something that happens later on. This is a an OBS issue, I think. All I have to do is just change the camera and change it back and I'm back. Um, I'm hoping it wasn't frozen for the whole intro, because that's annoying. Um, what a pain. Uh, was it frozen for the entire time that I was talking there? Raven Trickster, it was. Awesome. Great. I The camera's fine. The camera works on the other computer. Um, it doesn't seem to freeze on the other computer. It only freezes on this version of OBS. I don't think I have an update. I wouldn't update in the middle of the stream anyway. Um, sorry folks, not, not the best, not the best way to kick off the stream with a, a frozen camera. Um, it normally, uh, doesn't do that, at least not at starts. Uh, we've had it happen once or twice, but usually in the middle of like a three hour stream or a four hour stream, uh, anybody that has channel points or wants to do like an at reply to me in chat, if at all the camera freezes during the stream, just shoot me a reply in chat. I'll probably see that before I see the camera. Um, it's a little bit easier for me to see on a big screen like this, but when I switch over to the game, it's a lot smaller. It happens, Tech Gremlins. No kidding, Snuggly. No kidding. Let's go with um, Iron High Design. Let me jump in there. Yeah, when it's a little camera like this, I find it hard to notice. So, uh, what's happening is we need to move a bunch of this stuff over here. Because this is all in the way of us building building things, right? So this is temporary coal. Uh, the good news is that this belt is already coming from way over there. And really what I need to do is I need to redirect it to somewhere about there. Um, this is not difficult. This is just a quick um, three smelters. Hook, hooking up to um, extra like building parts. So let's do some quick math here. We've got we've got more iron than we know what to do with. So we this is not a bottleneck, but 60 per minute. So we're doing 180 right now. And maybe we can double up on the production here. This has got 15. This has got 15. And this has got 50, but this has got um, these guys. So this is doing 20 per minute. So 
so we could do probably two of these and two of those. So that's 30 and that's Oh, and sorry, requires 75. 75, 75. 30 per minute. Did they change the... Yeah, this is this looks different. It'll probably look better when I rebuild it. Maybe I just need to change the recipe. This iron ingots and steel pipes. So, uh, there we go. Uh, 30 per minute. So, this is 30, this is 30. That's only 60, and we're doing 180. So we could absolutely do two machines of each. So three smelters plus two of those, and that should be enough to get our steel out of the way. So we'll do that first. And it'll also give me an opportunity to sort of start to plan out some rough layouts over here. This is where some blueprints are going to come in handy as well. So you could do this all one at a time. Or you can make a blueprint and create uh, larger pieces. Which I find a lot more um, time, I guess, efficient. So we get to see a blueprint. Uh, let's clear the designer. This is four by four, two meter foundations. I don't know that we need a description. Let's add a subcategory. Icon. Hmm. Uh, parts. Oh, is this going to go away when I... Yeah, crap. I have to build it first. I remember that from last time. Made that mistake before. We'll try that again. If the darker gray would look better. Yeah. We've got that now, which will make this a lot faster.
sometimes. I'm not sure why it's not snapping to the blueprint. It's strange. Oh, there we go. Well, there we go. That's what I had. I had default build mode on. Thanks again for kicking off the stream with the hype train. I uh, really pre appreciate the 100 bits snuggly. That was uh, fantastic. I uh, hope you, everybody got a good emote from the hype train. So one thing I want to definitely do is maintain at least a foundation for depth. So what I like to do is just kind of throw down walls. We could also just maybe throw down some of these barriers for fun. Just because they're, they're a new part. So for now... This would be the minimum sort of inside space. And then I would have this space for potentially building. All right, that's pretty good. Uh, what we'll do is we'll start off with the foundries very quickly. We wanted three of those. I'm also realizing I should probably check my SAM production as well. Let's do these here. I wish they would change the hitbox on these. I oh, need more modular frames. Sweet Sandy, hello, hello. Is today puppy day, Sandy? I don't remember. Next week, October 10th. That's exciting. Remind me, remind me what kind of dog it's a, is it a spaniel? You're getting? Counting the days, yeah, I'd imagine. One of the breeders near me that does um, XL American Boogie Bullies um, just had a, a litter and they are cute little potatoes. I really wish I lived in an apartment that let me have, do have dogs because I would probably get one. English Springer Spaniel, very cool. Very, very cool. Pipes and wire, yeah. that and we will need more of those don't need all this concrete on me that's for sure Looking forward to watching for shoes to not get chewed on. Go out every two hours in the beginning. Yeah, there's. A, I learned a lot when I was doing my research for a, a dog. I was um, there was a lot of um, 
TikTok research from dog breeders, and I found it very helpful. Coal from right there, uh, so that should be easy. And I guess we'll just do a quick and dirty. Eh? Do come in from the side. So this is good if you're new. It's kind of a quick way to set things up with a manifold using lifts to keep everything in line. And these are going to be doing the other kind of iron ingots. Solid steel ingot. 40 and 40, so everything here is fine, but it'll need at least 120 line. Yep. And then we'll just grab this from right here. Do I have conveyor walls yet? I don't think I do, no. going in on the bottom. So our iron will have to come in on the top. And we'll grab that from over here. This will again be kind of temporary, but it'll at least keep our iron flowing. We'll grab this one on the left, I guess. So we're on this foundation. I think I'm going to need one in between. And this is where I think I have to use some extra pillars. Yeah. Grab our blueprint, give that a test. Oh, you're not gonna let me snap. Oh, no. Dan, hello, how's it going?
What do I not have? Ports. It's the only tricky thing about using signs in your in your uh, building is that when you run out of ports, it's a little tricky. It's not a common building material. You unlock the hover pack. I need to look at our milestones and figure out what's next. I'm getting a little caught up in the building. So we should be able to connect these. I'm just going to use regular belts for now. Ah, it's too far. That's annoying. The hitbox in that is far too big. No plates. All right, well, let's do the other belt then. Just to get this done. in the ma'am? Cool. I will look at that. I knew it was somewhere. I think I hooked up the wrong one. Yeah, I did. Whoops. All temporary anyway. Now I just need to change the insides. That is the iron going. Now we just need to power everything. So this is a good look at what iron height is going to look like. When we get it to where we need to go. Right. Now we just need some power, and the power nodes on these is on the back, but we'll put this on the front.
And we just need to hook the machines up now. Good be good. And then we just need to do the outputs and put that into the um, steel. You're doing 60. So that's 120. And then mark three. We'll go to here for now. And then I think what I'll do is I'll just have the constructors go the other way. Because this is all just temporary for our storage. And you're going to do pipes, pipes, beams, beams. And then we just need to power you. Should be pretty easy. Now we just need to store you. And that's 15, 15 is 30. And 20 and 20 is 40, so 70. We'll just do a Mark II belt to hold it down. Two containers. And then I'll just do a smart splitter. Let's do uh, left is none, center will go beams. And we'll go pipes. And that's our steel beams and steel pipes quickly moved and replaced for storage. How fast you can upgrade things while moving is very satisfying. Yeah, I agree. You used to be able to stand on the belts and upgrade them, and you can't do that anymore, which is weird. It's, it's too bad, because it was a very satisfying thing to run along a belt that was old and then click on it as you go.
that's this successfully moved. Don't know what that was doing. Oh, that was the coal. That was the coal input. It's so nice to clean this area up and make it look a little bit more like the transformer landscape that I've been trying to envision. done um could do leftover flow for awesome sink so they don't pile up oh yeah no that's a good point uh over there you mean yeah that's a good point i should do that we've got the power overhead that's for sure what i'll do is i'll put an awesome sink in the corner over here lined up on that part. Actually, let's just face it this way. Good idea, Sandy. Thank you. Sorry for this question, but I'm curious. When you remove things, does it break back down into raw components? Yes, you get 100% everything back. Uh, you can see it. I'm going kind of quick, but if you highlight, you can see uh, in the middle of the screen, it says eight plates. So that's what I'll get. I'll get eight plates back. Here I'll get two plates and two rods. Um, I'm going to take out the power. This is going to be 15 reinforced iron plates. So um, there's a... It's, they say it in the tutorial. Ada says, like, just so you know, with the dismantle tool, you get back everything that you had built because fix it does not believe in waste uh it's it's in a line where they're talking about the pioneers and essentially it's like we don't believe in waste but you are expendable it's it's pretty it's pretty funny in that way so now these two are full but are not being refilled leave that there And that can go. I wish this stinky gas graphic would go away. We got rid of the rocks, but it's um, not going away. Is this connected to anything? That is definitely connected to stuff. We may have to change the way this runs. Wait a minute. Oh no, that's fine. How are those all powered? Those go around the back, I guess. So I don't need the truck stop right now. So I can clear this too. Which means that is connected in that way.
Now I can get rid of all these. Uh-oh. Let's go put stuff in the awesome sink. Ada said the quiet part out loud. Oh, totally. Ada does that. Quite a bit. Up to 10 tickets now. That's good. Here's a fun trick, too. If you look at these and you know that there are 10 uh, plates and 10 rods, you can use your dismantle tool to see what's inside. So, like, that's my pipe storage. That's the concrete storage. That's the quartz because it'll show you what you would get if you dismantled it. We're out of pipes again. Those um, Sam fluctuators take a ton of pipes. should all be running pretty well. They're going to be overloaded. Like, it's not going to be efficient, but that's fine. I'd say that's a decent rate. I'm happy with that. That clears a lot for our design of this side. I was actually thinking, you know, looking at this, I think I made a mistake in filling in this area on the other side of the Ironhide um, smelter. I think I might want to leave that open so that you can see the working guts underneath. I think it looks a lot cooler. It looks more like a transformer. Uh, these are smart plates. Should move those somewhere else. Where should I put these? These are empty. Some of this stuff. I guess I should leave this over here. Can you use it for clip wire. See you later, Snuggly. Thanks for coming by. Good to see you. Big head face. Hello. Good morning. How are you? We are happily deleting the starter factory bits and we're going to shore up Ironhide and make it look a lot better. So 
So these don't need to be out here at all, do they? Excellent. Now, we have to move screws and rods and stuff, and that's going to be a pain. That is now going the way that it should. So then we just need to take the iron that's going over there. I need to get some more. Um, what I should do is add a constructor over there. That's or not a constructor, an assembler. We need to automate our encased industrial beams. We're a little behind on that. So what I should do, is see if I have some portable miners. Playing WoW Classic today, Big Head Face. Nice. Uh, Dynia MC, is this new world? Uh, new ish. Have we been 50 hours in? I guess. Yeah, 50 hours in. Yeah, the Devastator save keeps on crashing. Um, I haven't tested it on stream since they released a couple of new updates. should be breaking by now. There we go. That's the impure node. That's probably all I'm going to do for now. I think that's all I need. Where's the other one? Right next to it, I think. Yeah, it's over here. Part of the node. There we go. Invalid placement. Does this have to get broken up too? Hello? Do these need uh, assemblers, case industrial beam, case industrial pipe, five concrete, six concrete. Go with five concrete, 20 concrete per minute, or 36. We'll go with 20. That's not much. back on this, I guess. Should be able to scoot this right down the middle. Uh, one, two, 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Gonna have to move the awesome sink, I think. Or... Hmm. I could just stick it here temporarily. That's a merger, though. Um, that's right. I'll do... Which recipe was I doing? Types. you in there. Ha. You're gonna do 60 limestone per minute, more than enough. And then I'll just loop you around and put you in storage as well. making encased industrial beams on our own. Oh, wait a minute. That's going to be a limestone. I need a constructor in there, don't I? Well, that's just fine. Um, you'll go here. So we'll do Splitter. That has to be a smart splitter. Concrete 15. It's fine. And then I just need a merger back over here. How did that not do the thing? What? What's going on there? Why are you not? Maybe it's facing the wrong way? Sweet Sandy, thank you for being awesome. I really appreciate it. Uh, splitter. 
Mark splitter. Alright, smart splitter. Left output. Nothing. None. This I want limestone. That'll do. Okay, that's better. Those are the beams. Um, yeah, I don't have a lot of those. And now we need to think about where the iron is going to come from. So it's really just plates and rods and screws for rotors. Those are the things that we are currently not doing outside of this section. Axonym, hello, hello, welcome in. Excited to see the new config, thanks very much. Got that iron coming in there. This is going to be more than enough. So we can split this off quickly. And then we'll just make a line that goes down there. Don't know how far the night time is away, but your stream is at an hour. Thanks very much. Um, I should take the break because I think we're in the middle of the day. I really wish there was not so much haze. You really, There's lots of days where you can't see Project Assembly, which is too bad because it's pretty cool looking. All right, so this will just go down that way. And I guess before I go on a break, I should run out and get some more Sam. Um, Reanimated Sam. I should just make a permanent one of these to stick here. I honestly don't know if we're faster than the tractor now. We might be. How's that for a spin out? I forget that you can use the space bar to spin yourself out. Glad I checked this before I went on break.
Cool. So we should um, be able to park ourselves over here and watch some cool stuff happen. Yeah. Uh, I take a break once an hour, folks. It is about that time. It gives me a chance to zap the coffee. Uh, gives you a chance to grab a stretch, maybe even grab a friend, let them know that we're streaming. We're always trying to grow the channel. We had a good number of new people coming in in September. So uh, if you are one of those new people, share us around and I'll see you in about five or seven minutes.
Okay. We should have some more of these beams now, too, which is good. Not a lot, but I'll take it. So over here, we have what will be our iron. But I was just thinking that it's going to be a lot easier if I can maybe make some headway on that hover pack. Let's see where that is in the ma'am. I'm assuming it's in the Caterium tree, right? No. I thought, you said it was in the ma'am? I thought it, I think it's in the in the hub, isn't it? Scanning for hard drives in the MAM. Oh, really? Hard drives. Quartz tree. Oh, it's under quartz. Hmm? There's no hover pack here. Not under sulfur, is it? We could unlock the buggy, actually. Is the hover pack in the hub? Or is it in the ma'am? I'm assuming it's under power somewhere. Do we have to unlock petroleum? Like, do we have to unlock one of these before we unlock it in the ma'am? Hover pack is hub. Okay. Well, where are we on... We'll have 500 beams soon. Where are we on motors? One, two, three, four, five. Sweet. So it's just the beams. Phase seven. Oh, geez. All right. I'm nowhere near that then. Nowhere near that. We will use the old fashioned um, tower. Lay things out. plates I was doing. So we need rotors and rods. I'm assuming we're doing at least one constructor for plates. kind of close, isn't it? If we have steel screws, we do. That'll make my life a lot easier. Do 
And for people that might be new, you don't need to have one power pull per machine. I just find it a lot easier to organize. Even on temporary builds. to know. Alright, you're all getting fed except for this one. So let's do... Uh, we don't have cast screws yet, but I think I can unlock it. So plates... Plates, rods, let's see if we've got cast screws, might as well grab it now, makes life so much easier. Coke seal ingot, cast screw. We do have it. Okay. So let's, while we're over here, we'll go take a look at the recipe for rotors. I mean, we're kind of full up on these anyway. 200 screws and 40 rods. And what are we making over here? We're making... Are we making rotors here? No, this is frames and plates. Okay, this can stay here for now. That's all good. So we don't need to make plates over here then. We're making plates there. So I can just do rods and screws here. 40 plates, 40 rods. 15. 30. And 45. And then screws. That's 50. 100. 150 and one more. And that will all go into a assembler. That is going to output rotors. Let's do rods. Oops. Screws. Done. Bali, hello, welcome in. Um, mergers. Smart splitters are a really good thing to get if you can early on, because it makes everything so much easier as far as organizing your, your lines.
240. And then we just need to oh, put these to something. Um, let's go to there. Rotors moved. Uh, what are you not getting? Not enough. Oh, and you're not getting anything there either. And I didn't hook that up. Good, good. Good, good. Sweet. It's rods we can now delete and move. And we can tighten up this back side of the factory. Like, this is going to clear out all the space we need to finish the design. Great. And we're going to amass some screws in the process. The old inventory. We need to finish that too. Does anybody know of a good transformer that would be a good design for concrete mines like that? I was thinking maybe Hound. He's kind of green and beige. He was a Jeep. It would kind of blend into the um, to the environment too. There's also a tank I think that was beige. I don't I don't recall many like concrete brown colored transformers. They were all pretty. They're all pretty standard colors because of the way that they they're all modeled after like bright cars in the 80s right clean edge for this. Not enough space. Well, time to change the inventory a little bit then. Anything else that can go?
Steel ingots too. Now, do we've got room for rotors over here? I think we do. Put a couple of these away for safekeeping in case I run low. Nice. So then we can finally work on this side. I'll probably wait until day that the sun will be on this side so we can see what we're doing. Sweet. So now, I think it's just the 500 uh, encased industrial beams. I don't think we're going to have 500. Really enjoyed the Minecraft live coverage and um, to get pics and your insight. Oh, thanks very much, Belly. I haven't gotten around to listening to the spawn chunks from yesterday. Oh, it's a, it's a long one, too. It's about an hour and 45. Um, but thanks very much. We, uh, we've done it a few years now, so we've gotten pretty decent at it. Oh, that's slow. That's real slow. We've only got a hundred. Let's increase your production if we can. So you need 50 and 60. I think we're only making 40. And only 20 out of there. So I imagine these are only getting to there. So I probably don't need that. Well, you know what? Let's do it anyway. We can always front load it. So that'll be 10 per minute. That's That's good. I'm sure I could handcraft a couple of these beams too. Decepticon Blitzwing is purple and sand color, turned into a tank. Same uh, movie as Bumblebee. Oh, okay. Blitzwing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I remember Blitzwing. I think we've talked about Blitzwing before. Tank and a jet. Right. I remember that now. Well, that's a cool image. That's fun. Hmm. Blitzwing. I wonder if there's any brown transformers. Oh, I remember brawn. That's a good one. That's a good one for concrete. Kind of round though. 
The colors are good, though. I like the green and the beige. Brawn. Okay. Uh, where is, like... Transformers movie. Oh, he was in the movie? Really? Let's do... A better search. I had this toy as a kid, for sure. Not that one. He was... Different, I think. I try to go with like official comic images or cartoon images if I can. There's the original. Where? That's pretty good. I mean, that's obviously someone's doing fan art. Hmm. Wish that was bigger. A lot of the concept art for Transformers video games is some of the best stuff for this kind of thing. He sort of looks like a Hulkbuster as far as his shape goes, right? Like an Iron Man. It's the, the the dome head makes him look like Iron Man a little bit. That is kind of fun, though. I wonder if he was in uh, Cybertron. War for Cybertron. Yeah, I wish that was a bigger image. Such an ugly website, my gosh. Sorry for the bright white for everybody. Where is that image that we just saw on Google? Bouncing your images back and forth, left and right, is a terrible design choice. My gosh. This is a pretty cool image. That's pretty cool. I like the green and the and the beige yellow. Maybe we can work with that. So for I was thinking about it for this like a color scheme we do green that's kind of a decent green we can customize it too Not bad. If we take, if we change the shapes a little bit, I think it'll work. All right, so we've moved all of that. So now we can start to unlock more stuff in the. Um, awesome shop. A 
got quite a few coupons now. 15, I think. All the stuff I like to do at night when you can't really build much. So we can get the big signs, or we can get lights. Lights would be good for designing the inside of Ironhide. So that's five tickets right there. So I could do signs and lights for 15 tickets immediately. We could... Get a steel wall. We have a glass roof. Wouldn't mind getting the material roof. I feel like I should really get these. Those might come in handy. I really want the glass foundation frame. But it's expensive. So maybe these and lights. And we'll leave the sign. I can't make... These are these cost like crystal oscillators anyway. So maybe we'll get those lights. Light control panel. And then structure. If you sense your productivity slipping when it gets dark, don't worry, this is perfectly natural. Fortunately, fix-it lights allow you to never experience wasteful darkness ever again. So it's very dark in here at night, and I was thinking we could use some lights in this space. I think I can make them. Oh, okay. Well, that'll be neat. Kind of hidden. That'll look cool. And then we just have to figure out where we want to put the control panel. Probably down here at the back. Just as a test. Could probably hide it up here, maybe? Or we could have it down here, at least temporarily. And put it right by the stairs for now. Now the power... Where is the power coming in here? Right there. I guess temporarily we'll just put a pole here. I thought we could nudge these in smaller increments, but I guess we can't.
Now, where do those go? There's the connection. So we could have that be up in here somewhere. Daisy chain lights, which is good. We may want to hide that, but for now. And the lights still don't update properly. Power? Got power. Well, that's messed up. What's going on there? I just spent all my tickets on lights and it doesn't work? Has anybody had any problems with lights in the game? power what gives that's connected Oh, did I connect to the wrong thing? I connected the wrong thing. It made a connection here. There we go. Mental note, point at the light. I'm trying to do stuff from too far away in the dark. They unfortunately don't really spread that much. It's kind of like a spotlight. At least you can daisy chain them though. So it still doesn't take on the color, you have to flip the switch. This was a problem in the other updates as well. So if you run into this, all you have to do is just give it a toggle. And it updates. I think we might need more than just four. We might have to work on the spacing. I don't know about I don't know about that. It might be better to use signs. bigger signs. Hmm. That does look cool at a distance though. It's just that the spotlight's not great. I guess we could turn down the intensity. The intensity might be the problem too. And that go down like usually 30 is good. Oh, you can't load the presets? Here we go. That's strange. Doesn't give us the lightness. Hmm. 
Yeah, we're missing the part of one of the one of the sliders. Um I guess we just go for red. Let's call this red light temp. That's a little better. It's more like a maroon. Less intense on the ground, too. You guys are just backed up, yeah. Alright. Oh, I guess you set the brightness on the control panel. That's fair. That's fair. Okay, so uh, along here, we're going to remove all of this. And I was thinking, like, here, we should be able to see all this. And I think I want to make some sort of design. So what I have on that level, which is basically one, two, so three and four for the floors over here are this pattern. So there's one, two, three and four are here. And I think we can do something a little bit different. I like this, but I might be able to move it. Um, and I was thinking if we use the pillars throughout here, it could be kind of neat. So first thing I should do is I should put in the big chunky bits. And have those get sorted. I think I'm doing the big bits down here. Yep. It's on this one. Careful not to rip out any of the guts by accident. So, on these spots, you can keep that maybe. But that leaves this section here, and it's pretty central. So it's all centered on this foundation because it's the it's the inside um, parts. I don't I don't know what be, might be the best decision here. I feel like for some depth, we could maybe bring it in a bit. That's too far, right? So I'm thinking maybe we just use like a one meter foundation. that up um hmm because the other thing i was thinking would be using um small concrete pillars like this I 
gonna check to make sure that that's not clipping. What I should do is put this pattern on the side first too. So I feel like the bottom part could stay, but I do underneath that on the other side. Right, so that's exposed. There's two of those and then that's exposed. Oh, those all need to be... I never thought about nudging them out. That's a good neat idea, too. I wonder if that could be a good way to do that. Could it use that little bit of extra depth for fun? Not on the bottom, no. All wrong somehow. Why is that not snapping? That's so strange. Yeah, it's like it's like that one is off center somehow, like they're not snapping to the right spot. So like if I go to here they overlap. Why are they on different I guess because it's anticipating the wall. Yeah. Weird. So then why are these not out as far? Is it because I'm using half foundations? Yeah, that's the difference. Okay. Uh, I kind of like the half foundations. Good to know that they're not consistent.
From the bottom, the triangle goes up and covers that up. Okay. Some things are just odd. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that doesn't make sense. I wish they sometimes would explain that, you know? Ah, we might not be able to use them, right? Because they're not going to do what we want to here. I guess we go back to using those. I guess I could use the middle one. Maybe. Even just like that's cool. Yeah, I, that's kind of fun. Adds a little bit of detail. And we could do those too if we wanted to. So yeah, so I, I was thinking that it would be neat to expose this middle area here and have this open rather than glassed in, but in order to do that, I think I need to do some shape changes along here. And we'd have to add a light in there too, I think. But like that's a kind of a cool echo. We could also go with a, a steeper angle. So this is all based off of Ironhide, right? So some of these images have like a lot of repeating patterns. I need to open up this image on my own screen. So it's more so on the image on the right that has these repeating arcs in it. I'm sort of grabbing. And actually the one on the top left is has got the same sort of vibe too. I think I like the bigger triangle. I just like seeing the inner workings. I don't think it needs to be glass. But we lose the chrome, which is unfortunate. And maybe we lose this line. it needs something across the top instead A beam maybe Let's 
it feels so plain. Maybe we just layer these up. Let's actually just create this with a chrome finish. Uh, no. Um, fix it foundations. Dindert. Yeah. So they'll clip into this, but it's not going to affect the production. So we can get up here. I'm remembering now that the foundations have got like a separate, the half foundations have got like a lip, a separate lip to them. Now oh, that's too much the same though. And if we're viewing that from above, that's going to look kind of funny. Yeah. What can we put there that would be good? Close this. Stream has passed two hours. Thanks, Sandy. Appreciate it. Uh, Rock Giant, hello. How are you? Left you on. You left my stream on during your lunch break and came back into your office and there was voices. <laughs> That's funny. Hi. Not creepy at all. Uh, you weren't expecting that. Yeah, that's it's cool. I just I don't know. I think I like the wider, wider angle. That's cool. We could always maybe put like a beam or something in the corner. That helps a little bit, actually. I'm just trying to think about what we could do here. Make it feel, I guess there, we don't have any railings unlocked, do we? Well, that could be, maybe that's what we need to do. See, here's another thing too. When you scroll your scroll wheel and you rotate this, it actually flips from like one position to the other. That's kind of cool actually. think that might be the winner certainly for the bottom row I don't know about the top here but I think that's a good way to go especially if we can put lights on it King Ludovic with a sub prime sub thanks very much I really appreciate that welcome in if you haven't already, you can connect your Discord and your Twitch accounts, and then you can join the Joel Duggan Discord. Uh, there'll be a link in chat momentarily, I'm sure. I think you just bang Discord or bang sub. There you go. Sweet Sandy's got you. Thanks very much, Sandy. Uh, but welcome in. Thanks for, very much for the support. Uh, what was I looking for? Lights. Yeah. Like, if I can move that down... And increments can't. Why is it snapping to the top and the bottom there? Oh, that is the middle. Okay. It just, it didn't look like the middle from down below. Oh, they're floating. That's no good. How can I fix that? When in doubt, probably a beam.
And that's not going to be... No, okay. So that's not bad. We would still need some lights in here. Probably down each one of these. These lights are just so big though. It's really hard to make that look good. We could maybe try... Don't have any floodlights. We could try this, the street lights maybe. Yeah, it's going to be hard to light things up in there. I think I like that. I don't know. I'm just freestyling it now. He doesn't have that much chrome in him, does he? Well, maybe. The chrome seems to be... I'm putting the chrome on the outside, and the chrome seems to be more of a reveal in the designs. Uh, Wheeljack? Uh, no, Wheeljack is... Th that's Ironhide. Wheeljack is this one. Let me just get a good picture of Wheeljack. That's Wheeljack. That's... Uh, Wheeljack is what I'm going to do for uh, this other factory over there. This one. That's going to be our inventory factory. Like, putting everything into... Into our, um... Storage. I do like these. These are cool. Oh, we're missing stuff. Did you get lost in design and forget to take a break? Yes. Uh, I also wanted to stick around because of that prime sub just for a few minutes. Um, but you're right, I should probably do that. Let's just double check our SAM stuff. We're not out of pipes, we're out of SAM. So I'll quickly dump that in there before I go on break just so we can get more tickets. One ticket, yeah, that's not good. We want more than that. Oh no. You know what? Time me. One, two, three, go. It might be just faster to run this than take the tractor. I should just bring a freaking belt back. I'm not sure why I haven't. I know why I have it, because it would look ugly, <laughs> and I don't like it. I think that's faster than the tractor, honestly.
Okay. Uh, King Ludovic also followed. Thanks very much for both following and subscribing. That's amazing. Uh, do connect your Discord and your Twitch. Hopefully we'll see you in the Discord in between streams. But obviously, uh, I appreciate the lurk if you're just chilling. No no pressure to, to jump into chat. Uh, where's a good spot for y'all to hang and watch stuff happen? I'll go on a short break. That's pretty fun. Cool. Give me five or seven minutes, folks. I will be right back.
Okay. Let's see where we are now. I also want to go check those industrial beams. Why are you all backed up? Just because this is slow? Screw really? What's going on here? Oh. Because the rods are backed up. Oh, I see. So, 20 per minute. We just need to make sure that we're not making too many rods, which is what we are doing. So... Thirty per minute. Oh yeah, we're making way too many rods. So let's do that. And I don't know what we're doing. Are we making rods over here and storing them? I think we are. Yes. Okay. So I can reduce the amount of rods, adjust what we need. And then I can just turn this off. Should only get 20 per minute now. It's a problem with having sushi belts like that. Um, Rock Giant, I've not played Shapes. I've seen it. It looks like a cool puzzle game, but I the, the creativity that comes with Satisfactory is one of the reasons why I like this game. That's 250. Has it really been that slow? Is this now jammed? Oh, this is not doing full percent. Uh, we need more pipes. And we need them over here. That may or may not work. 75 steel ingots per minute. I feel like... What are we making for steel ingots? Not... Maybe... Maybe that'll speed things up a little bit. Shapes is a lot better for optimizers like you um, when it comes to any kind of art design. I'm really bad. Yeah, I guess it depends on like if if I mean you can you can play satisfactory that way. You don't have to be super creative with it. Let's go on this side. That's where the sun is. I need to sort out these as well. Maybe... Hmm. I like most of what I've got going on here. I'm not a big fan of the of these um, pillar parts. That's not my favorite. I think I need to lower these. And just continue the roof. Quite know 
what to do. Don't think that'll connect. We could go down and back in again, kind of mimicking what's on the bottom there. that be that would be like a four meter wall no pipes That sort of adds a little bit to it. I don't mind that. I think it makes it look less like a barn. I think it could maybe be a little bit thicker. We have to think about how this is going to connect. Although it does run right into that. That clips though. Or it has like some Z fighting going on. So we may have to think about how to avoid that. might have been too far although it does look good connecting to the bottom of the window there hmm it's a very plain sort of section Sort of makes these feel too small, doesn't it? One, hold up. Five, probably four would be better. a decent way to do it, I think. The only issue, of course, is how do we fix the overlap here? I guess we could nudge these sideways a little bit.
can't nudge them when they're attached, though. So you have to, like, get in here with a, a support first. Then that fights a little bit. Where it doesn't there. That looks pretty good. Still not sure what to do about this. We'd have to fill this in with something too. Sometimes changing the material to something else and then back is what will help me removing Z fighting. Oh, really? That's interesting. So, like, if I change this to like a concrete or the paint, I mean, it's really subtle. You're not going to be able to really see it. I don't think I can change the um, materials on pillars. Can I? No. put on this like this is gonna have some sort of detail right so like we look at iron height again maybe two lights two vents if we can f f somehow swing it I'm putting a lot of work into this and it's really just a smelter I should probably lighten up a little bit what I'm doing Not a lot of room. I know what I'd like to do, I just don't have the resolution to do it in this game with the building pieces. Yeah, concrete pillars and metal pillars are different things, unfortunately. Um, what could we put in there?
really what I want. What I want is detail. Maybe I can put some chrome or something in there. That would help this out. So it is four high, so we could remove this and put in... Oh, wait a minute. Let's do that and that. And then we'll grab a wall like this. Sort of. Not really. Um, I think maybe what I need to do is come out instead of going in. Hard at night. Uh, it's better. I feel like this black line really ends abruptly, though. I feel like that should go the other way. I prefer this here as well. Down lower. shape for the most part the only problem with being indecisive about the builds is that I haven't really like gone around and committed some of the stuff that I do like. Not my favorite that it's in the rock, but poor planning on my part. Too bad there's no googly eyes in the game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's always mods. There's always mods.
remember how big that was on the other side. Four. I remember those. Right? Yeah, it makes me wonder what this would look like if we had this thicker. Oh, then it looks too similar. I like the contrast. It's funny how one meter in design choice will make a world of difference, right? Whoops. The wrong beam. What's the right beam? I forgot that they have to be painted. I must have put the wrong beam on the other side then. Which looks better? Oh, the painted beam for sure looks better. That's unfortunate. What is the painted beam under architecture? Yeah, I guess it's easier just to build it as is. Here. should do is put that on a hot bar. You didn't know you could put your color swatches on a hot bar. Those ones are right. Those ones are right. Those ones are right. They're just a different color.
So which side do do you prefer, chat? Do you like the side here with the open the open bay? Or do you think we're better off closing it up? Yeah, the chrome beams do look really good. I agree. Like the frames in the open bay? Yeah. Plus, if we combine that with the other stuff that I was doing. Accidental scan happens all the time. Then we just have to work these out. Oh, I don't remember what level I did that on. I should probably check that. They are... Even with there, I think. Yeah, so the, the bottom one. Oh, I did that backwards. We can try a different pattern and see which one looks better. the better the windows black could be a good thing to do too i thought i liked the little red detail but i don't know it almost looks like a mistake I find that I, I, I tilt my head <laughs> in games like this when you're building super big. I do it in Minecraft too. I guess we have to frame it up to really get a good idea what's going on here.
I think I like that better. We'll need to have the pillars in, I think, for that to really make sense. This is now feeling really lackluster. Let's figure out what to do there. Maybe we can come up with some other details. Casual nerding, hello, welcome in. I forgot to punch my coffee. That's been sitting there for like a long time. Is this your first time here, Casual? I don't recognize the name. Long time lurker. Very cool. Well, welcome in. Thanks for saying hi. Uh, need this one. I don't know how far this goes in or out. Well, there's an idea. Get fancy with it. Then we don't have to worry about the clipping. Oh no, it's still clipping. is where can I put this um, straight was probably better and it's fine I just don't remember how I put them up against the side
guess that looks okay. I think I need to fix this. Yeah, I like the black windows better. And then this just feels uh, like it really hasn't been sorted out, you know? Uh, that is a roof. Do we have enough? Maybe I can get an angled roof in there and that's what I need. I think that's something we can still unlock. What are we out of now? Pipes again. And wire. I don't think that's enough. Four tickets. Nuts. Pipes, I think, are empty now. We obviously aren't sending anything into the awesome sink over here. Do I have pipes? Just under 400? Man, that's slow. This is stopped again. Ah, uh, because the screws. Yeah, I guess that was a bad idea. That's probably a bad idea. Okay. Well, we'll fix that. I thought I was being smart. That's not connected. Okay. Forty five per minute to fifteen, and that is doing more than forty five. And I'm out of jet fuel or biomass. All the biomass. No more rockets. Get low on that too.
feel like they've been doing a lot of running around. Moving everything over to the other factory has been helpful. But I'm still feeling like I'm doing a lot of make busy work. The fact that we just need tickets to unlock buildables is still a pain. Stream has passed three hours. Thanks very much. I might actually try and hang out here until it gets dark. I'm finding it challenging to build in the dark, so maybe I'll wait until dark for my next break just to kind of get that in there. I appreciate it, though. The break reminders are always welcome. This just hasn't even been done yet. So it's strange how you can't zoop those down. I think you would be able to. Yeah, I like it. I just it's missing details. I'm not sure how to handle the details. So maybe what we should do is just kind of fill in all the block work and then we can work on the details later. Yeah, it's I'm trying not to get too complicated. Which you know, I'm sure everybody in the chat just went, "What? <laughs> this is really complicated." One of the more challenging things with these um, details is trying to wrap things around corners. So they always leave these little weird chamfers in the corners. I'm not a big, big fan of. Now I just need to figure out how to light it on the inside. We might have that one more ticket by now. Yay. Did I get it? Mm. 
Roof parts. Shopping is an essential human experience, enriching both the economy and human lives since the invention of society. Congratulations, you live in a society. Hmm? I don't know why they put a roof on this. It should just be like an empty platform. So we now have roof parts, uh, including glass roof parts. I forgot about that. That's cool. So let's go to fix it roof. I think it's the four meter. Yeah. So I want four meter. I guess I could could go with glass. Don't know about that. No, that's gonna change the shape of the front. Uh, maybe we have to back that up a bit, and this is gonna be the corner glass bit. Question then becomes, what do we do in here? Yeah, I'm not liking um, this section. Maybe I need to lower that, but then it's not going to go into this. And that doesn't work inside here very well. Well, I mean, I guess all we need here is an upside down triangle, right? doesn't show through. Hmm. Thanks for hanging out, Rock Giant. Appreciate the lurk. Yeah, that's not the best either. It's this straight edge that's bugging me, but I don't know what we could do other than lower this down, maybe? figure out how to handle that inside.
less of a problem. And honestly, it might look a little bit cooler out here. Maybe we split the difference and go one higher. Where do we go one lower? And remove the red altogether. Would a color other than red help here? Uh, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. It's a good call. I get caught up in my own patterns, right? Yeah, what if we just took this all the way down? Uh, let's just paint that. And... I'll attach this to the inside in here. That does kind of hang funny, but we could still have a wall in here, I think. I wanted to move this anyway, so that helps. Here, we just do the triangle again, but we just change the color. Oh, that's better. Snuggly, good call. Good call. Yes. that That's what I needed. So, I don't know. How did I not catch this before? So, I'll explain something that bugs me a lot in Minecraft that we managed to just eliminate here. And that is um, too many vertices converging on the same point and we've removed it here but you'll see my problem immediately when I go to the other side right so it's too many tangent vertices that's been fixed but watch this like look check check this out and watch how annoying this is like even with the shadow there's just too many like too many lines are too close together this like this needs to be under that shape like it just it's too many overlapping vertices and then like the shadow makes another triangle so like all of this is a real problem and then if you go in and zoom in there there's like another three all together yeah there's a link in chat to me explaining tangents in minecraft but that looks better we could maybe even go Well, no, I think we might want to leave it like, the, like that. How does that look over this way, too? Yeah, I like it. I almost want to overlap the windows. You know, like, I almost want to come out here and do this. Not that we need double windows, but I could, re could remove the ones inside. Oh, but then, yeah, that might not work. That's fine. We can go upstairs and see what we need to do inside there, whatever, what our limitations are inside. Because obviously this won't do. We have to still have to fill that in. And that's going to be impossible. Nuts.
like it's a really strange section in here. Hmm. Kind of a strange bulkhead. Not the end of the world. That's better than what we had. Better than what we had. Yeah, let's see if we if we relieve the windows and we we lose the um corner there, so we might have to go back to having the windows inside. At least on this part. Yeah, the gap looks kind of funny, doesn't it? I like that overall vibe, though. I think that's a decent solution. Yeah. Didn't need the corner after all. I wonder if we could somehow make this match. Because you can't paint these. So we could try to make the windows match it, maybe? I like that solution though. Now I'm just wondering whether I should pull that down. Or is it that it needs to be black? That could be it. I think that's the thing. It needs to be black. I should really make a proper black swatch rather than using this random swatch number two. I always find this really tricky because once you start making these, you're kind of stuck with them for your entire playthrough unless you really want to make a lot of work for yourself. I don't think I have an actual black swatch in here yet. Just the coal. Don't know that we'd be able to see the difference, even if we tried. Just the shiny part, I guess. Oh, thanks, Andy.
Nope, not those ones, please and thank you. The easiest way to grab these is just going to be to pull them along. Delete the ones we don't want. Now this was all going to be black. And it looks like this should be as well. I think I like that, actually. Alright. I'll have to come up with some swatches. We need to do the proper swatch stuff, I think. And that comes down. Now this end might be different because we have to figure out how we're going to have an entrance because we don't have a way to actually get up here. And something that I realized is that I don't have to have the entrance on the ground. Like I can actually, we might have roads or train stations that are like up above the, the ground here. So it might be good to have an entrance like at this level. So I'll have to think about that. I feel like this is probably a good, good place for it. Um, I also need to spruce this stuff up too. I'm basically just thinking about the sun going down and I have to take a break soon. Uh, how can we make this look a little bit tighter in the meantime? That'll be the poles for those. We'll have one pole on the end here. That is not what I wanted. I want this. that up a bit and we can get rid of you and then this one should pull this way All that hooked up and going so those are still doing their mining and now I can remove some of this not all of this this is gonna go to a pole over here and now I should be able to remove this That's going to power all of that. So this needs to be connected here. And then we can pull a lot of this away too.
slowly revealing the footprint of the factory. I just realized that I was so impressed by the ease of deconstructing and constructing because of, in Minecraft I always feel a bit punished for making mistakes and having to move uh, a build block or two. I, Snugly, I, I do the same thing in this game. I don't, um, I don't try stuff as often as I should because you forget, you have to retrain your brain in Satisfactory that you can very quickly rebuild and do stuff. It's, it's not hard at all. That looks like the sun going down, so I will take advantage of that, grab a break. Let you guys watch the sunset. Um, I am going to go brush the coffee, grab a friend maybe. Uh, there's a tweet out there and also a post on Instagram if you are so inclined to share the stream with your friends. And uh, I'll be back in five or seven minutes if I can find a spot to stand. It looks cool. That's cool. Cool. I will be right back.
Scotsman UK, thanks very much for the subscription. 19 months. Uh, Scotsman said, I thought it had only been a few months, but it's been 19 already. Time really flies when you're in an awesome community. Well, thanks very much. That's very kind of you. And I really appreciate the support. That's amazing. Very, very kind of you. Get back in the game here. I feel like we're getting there with this, this build now. I really wanted to do a lot more building on the new factory today, but we may not get there. Two, three, four. Probably only need three there. Whoops. Uh, I guess we can face this the other way. Did I leave those red over there? I did. It's the inside that was black. Keep with the forms. I'll work on the colors after. Oh, auto save. But yeah, I guess we have to get, think about what we're going to do back here. Time to say goodnight. Thanks ever so much for being here, Sandy. I really appreciate all the mod support. Cheers. Have a good evening. What did we do with the front? <clears throat> We've got... Um, I don't know that that has to be a thing anymore, does it? One and a half foundations out from the machines. Hope that's the right way around.
So that's the edge that we're sort of dealing with. I don't think I'm going to put glass back here. I think it's going to be a little bit more functional. And this is where we might want to do temporary floor ground entrance, maybe. Or a stairwell. A lot of times it's easy to put like a stairwell on the outside of the build. Or in a corner. Like we could do a stairwell here. Uh, I'd rather come up and I'm in this area. but it works. Uh, the other option would be to have it come up facing the other way, but I think that's probably the best. That obviously wouldn't be there. And then we could either keep going down, which is probably the good idea. And then we could have a door here, which I don't think I have. We'll go get those right now, see if we've got the tickets. on running out of stuff. Ah, uh, we only have the one. Going. And we need two. Can I buy anything for one? Railings, barriers, industrial railings. Street lamps. I'll wait until I have the other ticket. It'll be pretty soon. Pipes again. I'm not sure what that noise is for or from or whether it's an error, but it's really off putting. This is all flowing normally. I think we've got our beams now, or at least I'm going to handcraft the rest. Unlock trains. Oh yeah, we got it. We're good. Huzzah! 
happened in the background while we were designing the factory. Milestone reached. Trains are excellent for efficiently moving vast quantities of parts. Train logistics can be made more precise and complex with tools found in the railway signaling milestone. I listen to all my pioneers, often when they're not even aware of it. <laughs> so due to popular demand, I have added a motivational message. Choo-choo, mother <laughs> I read that before she said it. Uh, <laughs> that was great. I listen to all my pioneers, even when they're not expecting it. Oh, no. That's awesome. Wow. Good on you, coffee stain. Good on you. All right, what's our next our next milestone here? Probably railway signaling. There's a lot of computers. Uh, pipeline Mark II. Petroleum power. That's probably the better way to go. Although signaling is really cool. That's complicated. Complicated. That is probably doable right now, actually. Do I have enough plastic? Probably don't. No, I'm short. Oh, I had these in here the whole time. That's annoying. We need to make another plastic and rubber trip. What I should do is hook plastic and rubber up to dimensional depots. That'd be a nice little break from what we're doing. Uh, let's do... I think there's two refineries out there already. I can't remember. Two refineries. We need two dimensional depots. We'll need um, two industrial storage bins. And it's limited by power, but we can we can run one of these guys out there and have plastic on the go too. Question is, do I have the Mercer spheres? know that I do. Oh yeah. Twenty Sam fluctuators. I have to stop these from going in there for a minute. Are these just kicking around somewhere? I might. Nope. Need six more. Motors. Do I have 20 motors? Don't.
You missed Ada? I clipped it. Um, you should be able to go back and, and watch it. I need to go back through and edit some of those clips. I'm not sure how accurate they are. I've got a button on my um, stream deck that lets me clip stuff. What do we need to unlock the buggy, I wonder? That would make it out there a lot faster. Crystal oscillators. I do want to have a proper power network for this playthrough. But I feel like it's just going to be easier. Explorer unlocked. This personnel transport vehicle facilitates rapid traversal of difficult terrain and climbs like a mountain goat that has mm. returned from extinction. Climbs like a mountain goat that has returned from extinction. Nice. Uh, the fact that it takes crystal oscillators is a pain, though. That's what I thought. There's still a little bit of infrastructure we have yet to really implement. Okay, we can at least um, get some dimensional depots out there. I'll take the tractor because it'll be faster. And... I think that should be good. I've got the other tractor over there, don't I? Just for this reason. I should check to see what we've got for fuel. Oh, we're good. Actually, that's kind of a lot, isn't it? I could probably use the extra space. Let's uh, take all that. Uh, clips should be available on the videos page, uh, twitch.tv slash joelduggan slash videos. There should be a clips category. I don't have a lot because um, they're not available to the public to make. Uh, people just make dumb clips on my channel for I don't know what reason. I'm not sure whether they're bots or whether it's someone just like bookmarking their spot in the VOD, um, but I, I don't have them public. Uh, I think... It might be a member only thing. Ooh, 
Re-entry complete. Nice. Sweet time finding this road. I didn't bring power all the way out here either. Do that on the way back, I guess. It's funny that it squeals the tires on sand, too. I should pick that up on the way back. Oh, you found it? Sweet. The funny spot. Ah, I only had the one refinery. That's good to know. Alright, how are we doing for power? Oh, we'll be okay. doing rubber you will be doing plastic what's residual plastic again oh it takes water and polymer resin I think the power for these guys is at the front isn't it yeah Oh, did I have that backwards? I have that backwards. I could have sworn we used to be able to get these closer. Do that. Uh, you are doing rubber. You are doing plastic. You will both have to go into these. I don't have. Um, oh, I didn't bring enough of those, did I? Crap. I have a ton, I just didn't bring them with me. Reminds you a little of the humor setting in Interstellar? Yeah, a little bit. 
You've been working around here, Dan, for rubber and plastic? It's the fastest way to get it, I think. The other way is technically closer, but it's a harder drive. Until you get trains and you can really unlock things, it's kind of hard. Uh, so this is going to come out there. We are going to put a couple of these together. I guess I'll just look, hook them up here. So we've got two bottlenecks here. One of them is the um, byproduct. Uh, two. So they are both going to be pulling out um, heavy oil residue. Heavy oil residue. here. It's going to go there. That can go. Oh crap, that was meant for that. All right, well, we'll fix that. I'm gonna need two bins and we can, I think, just stick these over here. What's the speed? Slow. 20 and 20. Those will open into the bins, and then we just put the dimensional depots on top of the bins. I need more of those. 20. The pure one near the dot pod, yeah. Yeah, well, this is where Megatron is in the Devastator playthrough. I've used all four of those nodes. I think it's 1,200 or, or 1,600 crude oil. Turns into 60,000 megawatts of power. Load speed is still slow. As far as I can tell. And so now all we have to do is turn this stuff on. Right 
here. Not enough power. I need another biomass burner. Max consumption is 100 megawatts. Need another biomass burner. That's annoying. Now I'm going to get all this out of here and evenly distribute it. Should be okay. Should be good. Okay, well, these should start producing the things. Uh, I have to fill this up. So this should give us some time. It will eventually fill up with 1,200. But we will at least be getting plastic going up to our Dimensional Depot. And then rubber too. And then when um, the speed is too much, it will start to back up. Because this is making 20 per minute. I think we're only, I think we're maybe uploading at 30 per minute. I can't remember. Uh, more than likely the biofuel is gonna run out though before anything else happens. We shall see. But that is it for that. Um, I can just let that go. We'll do a little bit of a paint job just for fun. And this was all purple. Well, the purple and green is fun. Very devastator. Mass is dirty and brown. And I guess we could try the carbon steel for the oil. That does look really cool. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Away we go. Simple break. Optimus Prime, hello, welcome in. Uh, we're doing well, thanks. And we're uh, theming our builds in Satisfactory after Transformers. You're in the right spot. Are you in the right spot?
There's another pigeon over here too. There we go. I haven't really done any hard drive hunting today, but I, we're not really in the need. I think I have all the recipes that I am going to be using for the next little bit. I think I should pick up some Caterium on the way back and sink that, maybe get some tickets. Also get some tickets out of the creature bits. This is the turn I always miss. I end up going down to the right. Working on unlocking scanning for hard drives? Nice. Yeah, I, um... I decided not to do that just because it cost an extra hard drive to do it. And at the time, I didn't have any to spare. So I haven't done it yet. Should be an easier drive down this way now, too. That looks pretty cool. I like the way that this is coming together. I guess we should leave this guy a little bit more central, huh? I forgot to go get quick wire. That's fine. Pipes again? Nope. Incorrect. Got another three tickets, not bad. Pretty sure I want to use these for points. I don't think there's anything else in here that I want to use it for. first. Got an extra couple tickets out of that. Brings us up to six. Not quite to the signs. We could do the floodlights and the lights. We could do one of the finishes. Metal roofs, steel wall. I want to do the doors, I think. Ah, we need one more ticket. I'll do both of those. We'll save up for seven tickets. And I'll do those. So we're short on copper hay. Hmm. 
could have sworn I had more in here. Guess not. Definitely sink some of this. I know I've got more. We'll get there. Should also have the plastic now. Beautiful. That means we should be able to unlock this, although I don't have a thousand in my inventory for the copper sheets. I do have that over here. Sorry for all the running around. beams. Fluid packaging. Milestone reached. Avoid the embarrassment of placing liquids in your pockets only for them to spread <laughs> across your suit. Package and unpackage them with the packager. Packaging fluids allows them to be transported in your inventory, on conveyor belts, and by vehicles. For increased, non-pocket related fluid storage, you can now use the industrial fluid buffer. Ah, uh, could have used that when I was out at the other, other location. Uh, that's probably the next thing we should get, petroleum power, uh, although rail, rail, railway signaling would also be very good. I feel like we're probably going to hit power restrictions before I need trains. Mm, yeah, probably. And then we could have a we could have a power source out at the... Um, at the spot where we need it. So that's probably what we'll do. I feel like I need to up my wire production here. It feels pretty slow. Are we pulling what we need to? Oh yeah, we've got lots of room to do this. Um, are you just doing wire? Yeah. Get some more pipes too. Starting to get some ideas for how I want this factory to come together too. I think I'm going to design it and how I want it to look before I start laying out machines. Give myself some restrictions. That usually helps kind of fuel some ideas. Yeah, that's not very many. Is this full? This is probably full. Yeah.
Am I making iron wire anywhere? It might not be. I could do that here too. I am making iron wire, but it's just really slow. And being used for other things. Let's split it off. Not there. Let's put it somewhere that makes sense. What's that going to pump out? Uh, not even 60, that's fine. Not enough plates. That should help a bit. What I should do is just pump it straight into there, shouldn't I? That would be smart. Let's go around the loop. Oh. That would be smart. Now I don't have to refill it anymore. Yay. That's back, and we do not have the right amount of stuff. This is currently not doing anything because it doesn't have any rotors. I do not have any rotors. That's why. Cool. I think we've got a lot of stuff happening in the background now, which should help. And I should have that extra ticket now. I think. Hope. Yep. Excellent. That should help. I'm still not sure if I like the way that this comes out of the front. I might want to change it. So, do we want this to go straight down? Um, for now, I can just put a ramp here. Put a door. And get in that way. I guess from here we just have to figure out what the back is going to do. I think that's the right depth. A lot of it's probably going to be determined by... Um, oh wow. Standing on the belts. What we do with these pillars. And how we handle them at the front. 
I'm gonna lower all this too. So these two are right at the edge of the foundations, but the foundations are overlapping by a bit. Tricky. Okay. How much is a bit? Half meter? Yeah, half meter. But that half meter was because we had the windows there. I don't think I'm going to bother to put windows at the back. I don't think it really makes a lot of sense. So, let's go with the pillars being right where they are. And we'll just put them down. There. That would be snug, I think, but doable. Almost deleted a belt there. Oh, that is not quite what I want. We may have to make this look a little bit better. This is where I have to kind of design how I want this all to be taken in. I haven't really decided how I'm going to do that yet. right kind of a fun asymmetrical door and then I can't remember if I overlapped them in the front or not did not. Or at least on that side I did not. Did I do it on this side? No. Okay. Well, I should probably take another break. Alright. We'll put this pillar down and then we'll back up a bit. I want to build more with pillars, I think in this particular playthrough. That ramp feels a little bit strange. I wonder if we can move that. And then if we change this to that. It's a little bit better. I may want to play with that. At least we have a nice way in without having to fly up, which is nice. 
a little tight, but we'll get there. Also, we'll have to worry about how to handle that, too. It may not fly. Don't know how I did that in the front. But anyway, time to take that break. Uh, for people that are new to the channel, I try to take a break once an hour. It gives me a chance to um, grab a drink and stretch. You should, too. Give yourself a little screen break. Uh, I will just find a cool spot for everybody to watch stuff and just put the camera on AFK for just a minute. Or five or seven minutes, probably. Let's go, let's go up high. Let's put down one of these guys. And take a look at the whole thing. I will be right back.
Right. Last little bit to finish up this factory, at least the main frame of it. Oh! Are we getting animations now? Oh, that's on a... So we're, we're getting the glowing animations on the foundries, but not on... Not on the other stuff. Oh, no, we're not getting it anymore. I thought I saw it for a second there. I hope they fix that. One of the design elements inside this is I wanted all the all the smelters to glow. So we've got some stuff to do up there. If only there was a way up. Oh look. that this was better black but I need to do need to design those templates. that is not good we'll have to maybe maybe I need to switch that around that may or may not work sharp coming in, but it'll be okay. Probably move that. All right, now what do we do over here? I think it's just flat, right? Do this for now till we can figure out what we might want to do. There's seven. So technically. This isn't here, it'd be just a wall. And where does this start? This is even with the window. All right, well, that's where it has to be then. Yeah, I may have to remeasure that to see where those actually connect. I'd want that angle to be the same. wondering if I should just do the um, these small concrete pillars if I should do it like out here just overlapping it I 
if that's a good way to do it. Just to add that little bit of detail on the outside of them. I think I like that better than the other parts. And we could still put a light on them. One nice thing about doing symmetrical builds is that you can kind of A-B test, seeing which side looks better. I think I kind of like that more. I guess I've got other ones on this side too, don't I? This narrows the footprint a, a bit, which is good. one might be tricky. Those are a lot easier to do too. I don't know that we should be able to do this one. Sweet. It's a lot simpler. I never know what emission strength to put these lights on. This is two. Three is sometimes too bright. Being able to nudge parts around in this game, when they introduced nudging, game changer. Like it really opens up the creativity and the different stuff that you can do. The depth that you can add to your builds is just so much more nuanced. Right, Dan? Yeah. Totally agree. I really like these final moments of a, of a build, like it really starts to feel like it's coming together. I know we still have work to do inside, but I, just, I really am starting to, to like this. This is a little strange. I might want to try and figure out a better way to do that. One, two, three, four. I wonder... Do they let us put these in spots yet? Well, they do. 
That might be better. Two, three, four. Oh, but then how do I want to do it? Previously, I don't think they let us do this. So this is cool. I think I'd want to keep the angle. Yeah, that looks better. Yeah, that looks... That looks better. Cool. We'll do that. Uh, in the meantime, the other side really needs a lot of work. So I'm going to move that stuff down. So we've got these going up right from the windows. There's a beam above the windows. Oh, that's outside. Where did I put these ones? They are in line with the windows. Did I want to keep that? Oh, these are in the wrong spot. Oh, no, they're not. Wait, hold on. Right. One of your power grids is shut down. So that is the end of the plastic and rubber, I would say. We ran out of juice. Thankfully, conveyor belts do not need it. So we can continue to get stuff from way over there via the Dimensional Depot. Such a cool idea. Right, so if I put that there... Do I like that better? I think the real question is how does it look from the front? I think. Hmm. It does add a little bit more detail, doesn't it? The other option is to just have it be flush like that. I think I prefer it being farther out, which means we're going to have to change some of these walls up here. Glad I caught that. Now, is there a gap here? There is a little gap, I think. a problem there. We can just move this piece, right? Uh, 
How do I fix that? Take care, Dan. Thanks ever so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Snuggly Boo Bear says 100 bits. All right, sadly, I have to jam work, life, all the things. Thanks so much for the chill stream. You're very welcome. And thank you ever so much for the support. Great to see you. Hope to see you again. And uh, I'm sure we'll see you in the Discord as well. Thanks so much, Snuggly. takes the pressure off of the details there too. once with that section as a square that's not terrible if we could if we could think about something to put there that would work okay so that has all been updated correctly Do I have a double layer inside? Yes. The autosave hitches are getting a little bit a little bit real. Is that correct? That's correct. more biomass soon. that in there too. And I don't think that's a thing. I can't remember how we did that inside. I'll leave that. This is not staying, I don't think.
comes together quite nicely. And then over here, this is where it got tricky. Where does that start from? Right, then this goes away. Yeah, this is where I'm. It gets really tricky. That goes there. This gets attached to that. It is a strange bulkhead. It's not the end of the world, but it's a little bit odd. Feel like that's the same? Oh, the paint's different, but that's right. We can figure that out later. I think that's good. Yeah, what did we do over here? So we kept these. This actually might be cooler without that. And we could maybe have lights buried in there, or I don't need those walls. I could do another angled wall like this. I feel like that makes sense. That feels a little strange, though. I wonder if that shows up outside. Probably not. Oh, that's, that is weird. Maybe this has to be black. Yeah, that seems to make sense. And then maybe here as well. Yeah, it creates an overlap. I'm okay with that. We may not go black. Maybe we go chrome. Actually, I don't mind that. Kind of matches the machines. That might might be a little much. Plus, I think that has to um, be black to match outside. Now we have to open up these bottom parts. And I gotta change the colors of the windows. Zep, yep. Hello. Uh, 1.0 is treating us better. We've been working on this transformer themed build. So this is the Ironhide smelter. Ironhide is, is this guy. And uh, we're just kind of mirroring the design and doing the things that you do when you've 
got a big build that you have to repeat things. Um, we haven't had any crashes in this save. My big 1100 hour save has unfortunately been crashing a lot. And I haven't been able to really sort it out. I don't remember if that's how that goes. Um, yeah, I guess it is. Feels like it sticks out farther. No, maybe it's the same. Uh, so yeah, so I haven't been back into Devastator. Oh, that is sticking out farther. Yeah, there's something... Oh, I know why. Right, because we did that before we moved the window. So that still works. That's tricky. Interesting. So that's cool. So what we can do, we can grab that again. We can put that there and then hopefully nudge it. Thanks, yeah. I really like the front of it. We um, come over here. You can sort of see like the the lines I've got going on and like the front grill of um, of the car and his abdomen is kind of where I got the idea for that. Uh, and then I, I do, we don't have an, we haven't unlocked them yet, but I want to do a um, do like a red glow. We've got some lights in there, but not a lot. And there's not a lot of lights on this level. So we have to either increase the lights or do something else. Um, but for that, I need more crystal oscillators. Speaking of, that was not a lot of crystal. We're getting really low on quartz now too. I should hook the quartz up to a dimensional depot. That would be smart. This goes down to that's one and then this is that and then this is just one two three above that lever okay once i get one of these down it'll be easy to fix Uh, Gappy the guy. Hello, hello. Uh, I'm doing well. Thanks very much. How are you? It's maybe bedtime. No, it's stream time. I mean, it's only six o'clock for me. All right, before I get into the other details, let's just repeat that process. That 
goes away. Same. And then we just need these um, framed walls. Architecture, yes. Yeah, frame all. think there was anything else just the windows what I really need to do is is do the um, uh, the colors the swatches six o'clock all right you are American no I'm not I'm Canadian good guess though in terms of time zones I'm on the east coast of Canada. I'm in Nova Scotia, so it is uh, not eastern time, but Atlantic time. So I'm one hour ahead of New York is my time zone. Uh, Zepiap says I haven't played in ages. Might jump back in to see the 1.0 updates. It's 100% worth it, Zepiap. And if you do, if you're only gonna if you're gonna start over, um, if you can deal with the the little bit of a time sink to do the tutorial, it's pretty fun. Uh, there's lots of new Ada um, command like not commands, but like phrases and stuff that she says to you, so that stuff is all really cool. We are out of the stuff again? Yes. I'm definitely feeling like I've been pulled in like six different directions today. I think it might be time to change the autosave. Uh, go with every 10 minutes. Oh, I'm out of out of fuel. Much smoother process. Good, good. I wonder if we have any more tickets. This one. Maybe we didn't get that far with the rubber. I thought that would have been full by now.
Ah, uh, did I change those? No, these need to be shifted around. Biofuel, always forget. I need to do some constructors doing some of my biomass stuff again. Where can I do that? That's convenient. I guess we'll just work on this guy here. It should be done the quartz. Yeah. So let's do wood is usually the best. I guess I can, there's no real place to stick a bin, sort of. Really sketchy. It's a power line, why is that a power line? Seven hundred and fifty per minute. Holy crap. Time to up the belt speed. Which we cannot get seven fifty a minute out of. Packager, that's new. I didn't even look at the trains. Uh North America is what I meant, surely, yes, I know. Thanks so much, Gappy. Appreciate you coming by to say hi. That's funny. Take that, and we'll just make some quick biomass stuff so I can fly around and continue building. Fix that. Um, and then I just need to grab this. I never thought about leaving those connected by just like a, a thin support. It sort of works if it was a little bit lower. If it was clean with that bottom part, it would actually work as like a cool like strut connection but the fact that it's got this little weird section there and you can't change that that's too bad i wonder if we did a beam a beam would look good beam might be too thick start here that's not terrible you know that's not terrible
four? Four. Right. Just gotta figure this out. I think it's just two of these. Yep. good that part's finished the only part about finishing up the roof of course is that now it's not as easy to get up here to do on the end here do we know right that right and then this is where we got to do that little special uh, nudge for this like this is fine but if we nudge it a half meter oh not gonna let me that's odd. Oh, there we go. That should fix that. And we just have to figure out how this back end is going to look. Um, and I didn't do this framework at the front either. I decided to do something different. Don't don't know if I like that more. It's nice to have the um, the full walkway. As opposed to getting cut off. Not that we couldn't, I guess, push it a little bit. But it's not quite the same because these are in the middle here. I guess we could change... The walkway, although then it won't have a nice corner like it does here. And we don't have the railings yet. And there's no half railings. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm keeping that. I didn't keep the structure that I was going to run down the middle. Uh, we ended up using the ceiling for that, so I don't know. I feel like it kind of breaks it up too much. I might not do it at the front. I like our pattern here, though. Glass in the roof was a really good idea. So then, how do we handle the back here? Whoops.
it's just more walls, I guess. I don't know what I did on the other side. Yeah, it's just flat. This is maybe where we could put some of that chrome that we had before. An idea from the original design. Industrial. Don't know about the chrome door. Maybe we just do chrome in the middle. We have to have that angle out a little bit. We'll have to do something else there. These um, these pillars are going to have to frame the way that this intake is going. All right. I think what I need to do is make sure I've got these pillars in the right position before we do anything else. I know they're lined up east-west, but I need to know where they are. That's a half foundation. So there is an overlap. They are, there's a half foundation, and then that I think is snapped right to the edge of it. difficult sometimes when you're so far away from mirroring everything. So there's the half. So this would be half foundation. There's a window on top of that. Not that we're keeping the windows, but. And then the pillar was overlapping the window by just a bit. Just like that. Pretty sure that's how it looked. I guess I could have stayed in there, couldn't I? Yep. Okay. So that's the north-south distance that I wanted. Now I just have to line it up a 
the top parts. That is the right distance there. I just need to line it up this way. That's good there. And then that's good there. And did I start it at the right height? Uh, that's another good question. That's at that height. Because that's going to matter too. Yeah, okay. That's on, on the vertical grid. So then it's just a matter of putting this here. These are off. Yep. But I should just be able to use this. So there's the window. Which one is which? Yeah, this is not big enough for three um inputs did not think about that when I designed the width of it I designed the width of it for two of the front that was not smart That little bit is actually probably causing me all the problems in trying to connect it. 
the fact that it doesn't go smooth at the top. It's probably that little half meter nudge. And then as far as this side goes, I think these are just doubled up. And that's bright. looking entrance. Don't think I need the window there. I'll leave it there for now. It's to be the same as what we have before. That needs a double. This we can just complete. I think that's all I did. Yep. And then I don't remember where this is stops. I think it's actually back here, even with the window. I'll double check the front though. about just a little bit short of the window. That is a little bit long of the window. I see that's going to be an issue. I'll have to figure out where that bend is supposed to be. I'm sure that that is off the grid at the front. That's probably why. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to rethink how this is going in. Maybe we'll put them in three separate separate lines. Maybe they don't all have to go in this one bit. Maybe you can put one in there, one in there, one in there. That would actually simplify things a bit, I think. Now that I think about it. Because they have to be split and merged. That would probably help. Alright, I need to move that. Let's get rid of this nonsense. on the wrong spot. Or did I cover that gap up with a beam? Nope, the gap is still there.
I do want to come up with a better way to showcase the, uh, the smelters on the ends. I'll have to figure that out. Well, let's move this craziness. Uh, let's just put you maybe right next to all of this. do for now. Cool. And then we just have to figure out how many lights we want to put down here. Nice. Cool. I'm really happy with that. Still have to figure out the back. Uh, that is going to be for another day. Obviously, we also have a gap there. What happened there? Well, that's annoying. It's probably going to mess things up inside, too. So I'll have to be careful with that. Oh, these are on different spots. That's not good. Oh, wait a minute. I think... Okay, so that these are different lengths for whatever reason. Why is that? They're not longer. Okay, I don't know what happened there. I wonder if it's worth trying to get these back on grid. That might be worth doing as well. I don't mind that they're different um, because at least it's like mirrored but we'll have to figure that out oh you can see that through there that's not good either not a fan okay well I'd say that's probably a pretty good spot to wrap things up uh, we are looking pretty cool where's a good spot for me to just hang out Yeah, now that we've got the side looking pretty sharp, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, really happy with being able to, to sort that pr problem out that we had earlier. There's still a few things there that I might want to tweak, but um, for now, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, we, these feel kind of empty, but we can, we can figure out what might want to go there. Maybe we can come up with something like using a, a splitter sometimes, or... Something with lights on it would be fun. Um, I'm going to send you on to somebody else playing Satisfactory. Just let me see who I can find that's live. It's a slightly longer day than I normally do, but it was fun. Uh, let's just do a little refresh here. X Jordanary is streaming some Satisfactory. Any recommendations, Big Headface? Any place you want me to send you? I am, I'm going to share you with somebody that I don't normally um, toss you on to. Let's go to um, Woe Jess. It's streaming some Satisfactory. I think you'll have a good time there. Um, once again, if you would like to follow on social media, I'm very easy to find. It's at Joel Duggan across all the platforms. Uh, you can also check out patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. 
and obviously come back here tomorrow for one o'clock uh, Atlantic. That's UTC minus three hours, four hours, pardon me. Uh, got ahead of myself with the time zone change. And uh, we're going to be playing more satisfactory and working on uh, the next phases in this area. So thanks again for the support today. I really appreciate it. I hope you all had a good time and enjoy your time with Woe Jess. Bye for now.